could see yourself You're sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight away You don't have to be afraid Anymore I know you haven't noticed You know You know I'm just a human having a really, really bad day. So I'm editing and then I've got a little friend staying. She's having a little nap. Look, it's little Jeffy having a nap. Oh, just dropping off. Mum and Dad have just left. We've got two nights with my granddog son. So there he is, a little bundle. I'm finding it really hard to concentrate on my editing, but um, yeah. See how we get on. Shall we go? Come on then. <laughs> it's only people. We have other people. Yeah, there's people. Snuggle boy. The walrus. The walrus, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm really trying to get his tail. What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> oh, he's gonna do it. <laughs> trying to get it on the sofa. Happy birthday to you. What else have we got? Oh. Uh oh. Drop it. Uh oh. What's he got? Where's he got a twig from? Hello Jeffy, what are you doing? Sniffing? Seeing if there's any crumbs? I've just come in to look at samples of the, um, what are they? Tote bags. What do you think of that one? Um, that one's... It feels horrible that one, doesn't it? Oh right, what's wrong with this one? It feels really cheap, mm. doesn't it? Cotton. 
Uh, okay, so that's a reject definitely, but those two think are okay. I've also got the grey one that I've been sort of testing. I quite like this one. I like the sort of, it's not too heavy, too light, and it's kind of, I quite like the grey. so good at running the shop. Will you pack the orders for me, Jeffy? Bye, Jeff. I put my face near your face if you don't want me to lick it. I touch the So I'm having a bit of a slow morning, which is really nice. Not slept very well, you know, because some nights you do and some nights you don't. And I'm just having my coffee, so cheers to you if you're having a little morning drink. And I'm pondering on what to do today. As you've seen, I've had some visitors. My family have been to visit me. And so I have to admit to feeling a little bit lost without them. Because, you know, we haven't had many visits in the last couple of years because of things going on. So it's been really hard to say goodbye and resettle. Sorry, I'm wobbling you about a bit and resettle back into my kind of work rhythm and creative flow, if you like. Anyway, I'm gonna try. And I did go into the studio yesterday. Yesterday was my first day back. And I did a load of journaling about everything that's been going on. And basically in my um, art journaling, current topic that I'm doing, because I tend to kind of flow between different kind of topics if you like but at the moment I'm using a tree as an analogy and then the branches of the tree I am using as my action steps of self-development, self-improvement, that kind of thing, you know all the good things that you use a journal for and I realised on, what day was it? Yeah so my family, my daughter and son-in-law and their little puppy left on Monday sort of late afternoon and then I had a kind of sleepy night on Monday and then Tuesday I just felt completely out of it and I realised, hang on a sec, let's sit down and have a little coffee together shall we? What did I realise? How to explain? I realised that you know sometimes when we're working towards our goals and intentions and things that we may maybe want to get better at and improve at. You know, sometimes we need days off from that and sometimes we need a rest and sometimes we need self-compassion that we can't maintain that consistency as we would, you know, rigidly hope for. And, you know, I I'm really trying at the moment, one of the things I'm working on is my evening routine. So I'm pretty good in the mornings, actually. I'm pretty good at my morning routine. I'm, I'm much more energetic in the morning. So I've got much more energy to put into that, if you like. In the evening, it's the opposite for me. And if I've been drinking wine in the evening, then I'm not so good in the mornings. And I've realized there's a few things that I could do better in the evenings that will help my sleep patterns, which is obviously a really complex situation, sleep, isn't it? I've been taking magnesium, I tried some CBD oil, St. John's wort to keep the anxiety down. Obviously there's things like, you know, hot, a nice hot bath before you go to bed with lavender or salts and things like that to really relax and unwind. Get rid of the technology, you know, don't be scrolling on social media and all that and by that I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to me. Yeah, all, all that good stuff. And I think, you know, sometimes we forget to do it all very well and very consistently. So obviously things like sleeping is going to impact on every other area of life. And so it's a real biggie to address. And in the past, when I've been sleeping okay, I haven't really noticed the difficulty and challenges that you have to face if you've had some sleepless nights. 
you know, it's only when we come against it that, um, yeah, we realise how challenging everything else is when you haven't had any sleep. And there's a book called The Pleasure Trap. I'm not sure who wrote it, so I'll have to look that up and put that somewhere. But it's a really, really good, interesting book that talks about, you know, what human beings in their natural form, what, what they will go for for ease. So for nutrition, they will just directly jump to the easiest way of getting calories and, and stuff. And energy from that and so that's why we maybe go for the high sugar high fat kind of treats kind of thing rather than cooking a really nice healthy meal which is going to take maybe some shopping and some food prep and cooking and that kind of thing which might take maybe 40 minutes rather than just grabbing some kind of snack and so we naturally attune to that and and so that's kind of where the title comes from the pleasure trap but I read this book ages ago, so I can't remember most of the book, but I do know there's a chapter on sleep. And I found it really fascinating because one of the things that it mentioned in there was the fact that, and there's been obviously sleep studies done, the fact that if you are sleep deprived, then the body keeps score. So say if you miss out on an hour or two of sleep that your body naturally needs, and we all need a different amount of sleep, don't we? I need about nine hours. 10 is even better. Eight is just about doable, any less. And if I get four or five hours, I'm just, yeah, I'm all over the place. So I do like and need a lot of sleep. And so if you're in deficit with your sleep, the body keeps track. And I didn't realize that. So obviously, if you've had a long period of time, so say for us, you know, when we were traveling in the van and maybe we've had a lot of disruption within that, really, really fun and joyful as a lifestyle, freedom, adventure, but not always ticking all the self-care boxes in a consistent way. So it's not all, you know, sunshine and rosy colored specs. But anyway, that was a long time ago for me and I wasn't vlogging at the time. I think we started van life. In fact, I know we started van life in 2013. So that was a long time ago for me. But had I been vlogging there, you would have seen the good, the bad, and the, yeah, and the ugly, because there was definitely a lot of the bad and the ugly as well in there for me. Anyway, so that's what I'm trying to do anyway. Improve my sleep, improve my anxiety levels, which have definitely improved and also build up my energy again. And this feels like the right time of year, if you like, to be doing that because spring is just around the corner for us in the UK and indeed anyone else in the Northern Hemisphere. So you'll know exactly how I'm feeling just before that spring thing. And what am I gonna do then? Well, I've been thinking about trees a lot and I did a lot of journaling yesterday around this sort of tree branch idea that I've been doing. And if you are interested in art journaling, then I will just mention that I have all my art journaling content because I get asked and sent messages all the time, where can I find your art journaling, Wendy? You find it on the Patreon page and you either join the one pound a month, that's called petites, or the five pounds a month pockets. And in that five pounds a month, you get an art journaling video every month. But you can check out all the tier descriptions and there's always a link in the description. So basically, I've been journaling using this tree symbology, if you like. And I have some friendships with certain trees. And when we first landed after van life, if you like, I befriended a certain tree, a maple tree. And I haven't been to see that tree since before lockdown, before lockdown one. So that was March 2020 for us in the UK. And I'm not really sure why I haven't been to, back to this place where this tree is, but I just, I don't know. I felt quite nervous to go sort of into this environment again, if you like. It was a really familiar stomping ground for me. And yeah, I, I don't know quite what's got on there. So I need to maybe go back to the tree and also art journal about it a little bit but i'm really curious myself why i haven't visited the tree so you know maybe i maybe i do that today maybe i go and check out the tree you know once i've um fixed up my hair brushed up brushed my hair and made my smoothies and my snacks for the day yeah let's finish coffee first anyway <laughs> 
So when I'm making smoothies and stuff and drinking juice and all that kind of thing, people do ask in the comments quite often, what's in your smoothie, what's in your juice? So I'll just quickly go through it. I'm not doing a recipe or anything like that because I'm no chef. But so the smoothie and juice I'm gonna make today is my easy peasy one, if you like. So yeah, just anything for easy peasy and then I can be as consistent as I can be basically. So this is um, water from our local spring. We're really lucky here that we have a spring and James collects loads and loads of water. We don't drink the tap water because it tastes really, really chlorine-y. And I do think water quality is really important. I'm not a health expert or anything, by the way. Big disclaimer, I just do what I do. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna cram in some spinach into here. Sometimes I use my big um, blender. Yeah, it's only a tea fowl. I don't have an amazing blender. And then this one's a little bullet blender by Breville, which I got from like Aldi or something in the lockdown, because I find it's really easy to just make one smoothie. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So I'll just speed you up a bit then. I've got a frozen banana there and one ripe banana, because my other bananas aren't ripe. I've got some mango frozen chunks just to add into there as well. You've seen me put a load of spinach in and yeah, let's speed you up. Hang on a sec. So the Native American symbolism for the maple tree is of offering generosity, balance, promise and practicality. Maple trees hold the wisdom of balance, promise, love, longevity, money and practical magic. The maple has both feminine and masculine energy and it's associated with the elements of spirit and water and the planetary association with the moon and Jupiter. The great horned owl is the sacred bird of this tree. Maple is a traveler's wood. It enhances intellectual pursuits, acquiring knowledge and communication. Spells concerning art, beauty, binding and abundance should consider using this wood. A peaceful wood used for purity and healing seeks a strong devoted companion who cares for others. Excellent for cleansing spells, money and luck spells. Maple reveals the options, even those that are hidden in plain sight. 
It enables you to make the choices rather than rely on blind luck. And that's from a website called speakingofwitchones.net. Really interesting. So I've not been here for, yeah, March 2020. So almost two years, at least. I can't remember what the exact date in March that it was. Hopefully it's not too windy up here. I've kind of sat just out of the wind. And uh, yeah, I feel really, really weird to be back in a most familiar spot. It feels really magical. But it, it felt so out of my comfort zone to just do this. Really, really out of my comfort zone. So that's really interesting. Yeah, I've had a lot of agoraphobia. I've always kind of had a twinge in the past uh, of agoraphobia, but more pronounced since the lockdowns. And I noticed on Tuesday that I really felt pulled to coming to visit my favourite tree. And uh, yeah, this is the little maple. Still, uh, still sleeping for the winter, so yeah. And it's cold, it's really cold. So I've got lots of layers on, I had to get changed and put my thermals on underneath everything. It's really interesting to think about what the lockdowns have, what impact it's had on everybody. And I know we're all different, so it's affected us you know, differently. For me, definitely more anxiety, panic attacks and agoraphobia kind of thing. And I've not, I've not been going to my most familiar jaunts, my most familiar places really, where I used to come a lot when we first landed after van life. So really, really special to just sit here writing in my journal and, you know, pondering how difficult life can be sometimes some days and you know I was writing in my journal on Tuesday you know I'm just a human having a really really bad day and boy was I having a bad day on Tuesday maybe I should have vlogged it but I just really didn't feel like um, talking to the camera so I wrote in my journal instead my safest space and uh, James knew of course I always talked to him Sometimes, you know, when I'm feeling really, really bad like that, I, I just love being in solitude, you know, so I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not um, the only one. <sighs> this lovely tree. Can I, uh, can I show you this lovely tree a little bit? So, I'm just a human having a really, really bad day. And that was me on Tuesday. And now I've found my courage to continue and continue on my quest to become the best Wendy I can possibly be because I can't be anyone else. And I just do my best every day to, to get there. Some days my best isn't very good and that's okay too. But I had a really lovely comment on my YouTube, my latest YouTube video, so it'll be the one before this one. Sorry if I'm wobbling you about a bit, by the way. I'm not used to holding the camera, but um, maybe I'll insert the comment here because I can't remember all of it. But it was a lovely comment. Is this just an English girl having a, a moan or, yeah. And it really sums up my... Um, my intention with my YouTube.
So I'm going to have to go soon because I'm going to get cold if I don't. So I might go for a stomp. Yeah, before I go into the studio today, it'd be really nice. And I was just thinking about, you know, the whole situation in the world and how everyone says, you know, move towards love, not fear. And I was thinking, well, what's the opposite of fear? The, the opposite of fear is bravery, courage. And where does courage come from? So the word courage comes from the French word for heart, which is really hard for me to pronounce being an English person, but I think it's cour, cour. So I'll check the pronunciation later and probably it'll be wrong, but I'll put the word on the screen anyway. So if you're French, I do apologize. And yeah, courage comes from the heart. And I think, in fact, I know being out in nature helps us connect to our higher selves, to our hearts, and helps us find what we need, find the courage to be brave, take the next steps, and keep going and of course like I always say fills your own cup so keep your own foot cup full and then you're giving from your saucer I read the other day and I didn't know this actually that the heart pumps blood to itself before the rest of the body so what's that thing when you're on an aeroplane and it's about to take a dive into the sea or something and crash you put your own oxygen mask on first well I think that's an even nicer analogy isn't it it's really really magical the heart does that the heart pumps blood to itself first it's a good reminder isn't it please be encouraged to do some self-care and self-love things, whatever that might mean for you right now. I really encourage you. I really do. And thanks for coming with me to see my tree. Keeping me company with my tree. It really is a lovely tree. <laughs> A best, best friend. Has anyone else got best friends that are trees out there? I bet I'm not the only one. <laughs> hey, I wish you could see yourself 